Hey everybody, and welcome to episode 44 of Daisy Knits. I'm Daisy, and we're hanging out together. I'm so glad you could join me today. I have a few things to show you, I have a few things to share, and we'll get this party started. Fair warning now, I have post-retreat brain, so <laughs> trying to pull it all together, but I have not had total re-entry. Just fair warning. And I will do a separate episode about my Into the Wool recap. So I'm going to try to keep them, you know, like all the goodies and recap will be there. However, I do have a little bit to share from that. So let's get this party started, shall we? I have knitting. I'm so excited. I have another FO. My little flaming bright pink socks. Do y'all see those? Yay! They are done. I love me some socks. That's really what it is. These are the Freedom Socks by Kimberly Passini, Sock Bunny, and the yarn is hers as well. So, yeah, I think you can see that patterning. It's a nice textured pattern. I did not do it down the foot just because I didn't want that. Honestly, I just didn't want that on my, the top of my feet and in my shoes. There's a lot of pressure on my delicate little tootsies. So, I love how they worked out. I did get a little bit of color blocking here on the gusset part. But it doesn't bother me any. I love it. So these were done. I had started these last week. Was it last week? No, almost a week ago I started these. And I had kind of wanted to work on them at the retreat. And I almost finished them at the retreat, but not quite. I had set them aside to work on a few other things. But they're done now. So they'll go on my sock drawer. And my sock drawer is well stocked right now. I'm very thrilled with my sock drawer. So there's those. And the other thing that got a little bit of work this week is the totally biased. Totally bite. I think totally biased. So this is yarn that I had gotten from Fish Knits Yarn. And she did these seven mini skeins and I tied them all and they bleed into each other. They gradiate across. And I say gradiate kind of loosely gradiate. But I went ahead and made the ball up just because I felt it was easier than having all the mini cakes. I know I got a little clanking going on here. And I am doing Portuguese knitting in garter. I'm actually purling all of this because to purl in Portuguese is way easier. So that's what I'm doing. And that's my clip. For those of you who don't know about Portuguese knitting, you have a clip or you put the yarn over your neck. You lightly tension it in this hand and you're throwing it with your left thumb. So you're basically just tossing it over. So it's pretty slow for me, but I feel like my tension right now is it's pretty even. It's not fabulous, but it's pretty even for somebody learning the technique and really trying to become pretty decent at it. So I'm happy with it. I put a stitch marker up here so I know where we're at this week and I will see how it goes. This kind of was one of those I put it, I pulled it out, I would like put around a row, maybe two, and then I would put it down because it's so slow feeling for me. And I know the more I practice, the more I'll speed up. But when you're used to being able to knit at normal speed, going like a quarter of the speed seems like you're putzing. Anybody else know, understand what I'm saying? Anyways, so the other thing that has had actually quite a bit of love now that the socks are done, and like I said, I pull that out every once in a while, is my hitchhiker. So this is the yarn that I'm using for my hitchhiker. It is Fru Ju. Yes, Fru Ju. Um, for those of you who don't know, Silly Fru Wendy had hairy cell leukemia two years ago. And this was yarn that Highland Handmaids had dyed up specifically to help her out. Um, a lot of medical bills obviously rolled in with cancer treatment and eight weeks in the hospital. I mean, it's going to rack up. That's just, that's life. So I happened to have spent the weekend though with Fru. She was at the retreat. And so I really had wanted to use this yarn. I've sat on it for two years and I really wanted to use it. So I had pulled it out and I thought about it. I originally thought, oh, well, maybe I'll do a sock head hat. And I couldn't bring myself to do it because I wouldn't use all the yarn. So I got thinking about what pattern do I love that uses all the yarn. 
and the hitchhiker is it the hitchhiker makes me so happy i like the shape i love the brainlessness of it so i went ahead and cast it on and as you can see it is steadily growing i have 20 24 teeth i think i did have a patch of color blocking here but for the most part it's striping out and it makes me very happy it'll be wonderful and I can use up all of the yarn I'm not one of those people I need a full complete tooth to bind off I'll bind off midsection I don't care it does not bother me at all so as long as I have enough to finish the row and bind off I'm good so I will try to use I'll probably be playing a little bit of yarn chicken but I'm gonna use every bit of this game that I can and for those who do not know there's a little trick on when to do your tooth and I do have notes in my project page that are a little bit clearer because I don't want to give the secret sauce away but if you put a stitch marker at the beginning where you're doing your increases then when you have a certain amount of increase or a certain amount of stitches there you know that's a bind off row so just fair warning it's a wonderful way for me to keep knitting and not have to keep counting my ridges so love that little trick that little tip trick that I had gotten from somewhere so this is my shawl I do have a pair of socks that have maybe five rounds of ribbing in them I think I said something last week about them they're gonna be the vanillas the new black they have not come out yet because honestly I finished the freedom socks and I just started plowing away on that hitchhiker I don't know if I'll pull them out this week or not we'll see how much progress my hitchhiker gets they may come out they may not the other thing I do want to share with y'all is I took a class when I was at into the wool um, reversible cables I've never done those I don't know if you have or not I have not and I am super proud of my little crazy swatch here so my cast on's done here and it's they say it's, it looks fine. To me, it looks a little, this little guy right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Looks like a nose sticking out or something. But this side laid flat. This side did not. And when the instructor looked at it, she said it's because I did not pull hard enough. I was not mean to my knitting. I have a really hard time being mean to my knitting. So, anyways, if you look, though, my cables are on both sides. Having never done this technique, it was very fascinating. Um, I will say because you had to be mean with your knitting and you had to really pull those cables it made my hand right here hurt I did not care for that um, she recommended going down about two needle sizes from your normal to make your cables stand out really well going down that much made my hands hurt so I don't know how often I'll try this technique but I would be really interested in trying it with some worsted spun hand spun because the worsted means that there's a lot of air so there's a lot of cush a lot of give it's not um, it's not as compressed the fiber has more air trapped in it so when you do tighten it up it's going to compress down and then it'll floof back up I would be very interested to try this with some of my hand spun that I have actually sitting over here so there is this only two other things to share with you guys one the Christmas countdowns going on come chat Two, the Louisiana designer knit along is happening um, I will say I'll throw it out there for the world I not sure how much knitting I'm gonna actually get done but I do know that I'm gonna do a bit of shopping because the money for the patterns goes back to the designer and it'll help her I um, encourage you to join us if you can if you can't totally understand there are prizes not in our group but in the main group there are prizes so I would love it though if you do decide to knit along share with us tell us what you got going I have I think three patterns picked out that I might want to acquire I got some yarn back over here that I need to figure out what I'm doing with I'm thinking maybe some of this might make some good mittens that's what it's just got some beautiful there's two particular beautiful mitten patterns that I'm looking at so um just throwing it out there maybe you need some new mittens too other than that I don't have a lot to share 
I will chat with y'all next week. So see ya.